We're back. More rogue trader here. Um, we just kind of completed the main mission on Kibagama. We still got some stuff we're looking for. We still got to get. I don't know. We didn't find these. I don't, and I don't know if I failed to check there or not. There was definitely a vault. I don't know. It just wouldn't open. I don't know. I don't know what. I'm not sure. Maybe it wasn't. That wasn't what it was. I don't know. I don't know. And the other thing I do wanted to talk about is these contracts. So this one I had questions in the, in the last video if this actually costs me, like, like if I just have to have this or does it actually cost this to get the five anamantian? And yes, it does cost the profit factor. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I just don't feel like giving up profit factor. Um, for at, for at anamantian, and I can go up here to this one here trade three adamantine for two profit factors. So that basically means one profit factor for two adamantine. That's what I net. Uh, I just don't want to make that trade right now, I'll be honest with you. So, anyway, we've got some stuff to do here on the ship. So let's do that. And then we start need to start heading back. Uh, there's a couple places we I do want to visit. Over here. Uh, back to the bridge. That's where we want to go. Because I need to talk to some of my merchants. And I need to heal everybody. Which I guess they healed probably when I went back to the ship. Still don't understand that that last 6% of low time. But, alright. So I need to talk to Heinrichs. I want to talk. Is that Factorum? I never can remember where to go for this. Uh, this maybe, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, let's see. So I'm here. And you should. There's some weird things. Plus five bonus to party reduction. I mean, that's <laughs> those gloves do a lot, but they don't seem terribly useful. I, mean, I guess if I put it on. I guess if Abelard had it. Uh, does he have. I got 46, so I'm one short of this. Alright. Let's see where we are with the rest of them here. Pretty sure I have a better plasma gun than that already. Huh. This isn't, I mean, I guess if you had one, I don't know.
just trying to see which ones I want to. a single ranged attack for the first time in combat. So is that, I mean, okay, that would be for her. Storm Bolter. It doesn't seem terribly useful. Uh, Navy is the one I would definitely like to be able to. I would like to be able to. But we, we don't ever, I've never gotten anything that they'll take. Like, it's weird. Like, I'm not sure why. Because a lot of this stuff here in the earlier stages aren't, aren't like, aren't like game changing until you get down into the higher tiers. I mean, like this stuff is this stuff is really good when you get down here. It looks like I mean I don't know, maybe by the time you get to those levels, it's it's, it's weak too. But anyway, let's let's go ahead and do the Trusian, I guess. All right, this is all we can get. Okay. So Oh. 
Oh, it's definitely something. This one's pretty decent. Not enough to really help us there, so that's cool. All right, that was not that great of a thing. I mean, yeah. That right there seems like a kind of a no-brainer. All right, now let's go talk to. Do I owe this visit? Are you satisfied? I'm bored. <laughs> what? Dude, seriously. Of course. The fabricator sensor's machine was stopped. Not another soul will be sent into the mouth of the arch enemy. In time. We will succeed in uncovering and stopping other schemes of the cult. We dealt a blow not only to the cultists, but to the arch enemy itself. I cannot help but be pleased. So now I can be rid of you? No servant of the God Emperor has closer dealings with corruption than the agents of the Golden Throne. In its quest to guard the Imperium against its foes' most devious and secret schemes, the Inquisition seeks to understand the essence of evil. It is not enough for us to burn or cut down a rotten seedling. We must study it, understand it, touch it. Every time any of us do our duty, we are risking our very souls. But when it comes to psychers, the soul of a psyker is especially enticing to the arch enemy. The cogitator was stopped, yes. I touched an infernal machine that was created to serve chaos. I used it. I delved into the principles of its operation. That was enough. Corruption needs only the briefest brush of contact. When I touched the cult's cogitator, I drew the thousand-eyed gaze of evil upon myself, as any agent does when they interfere in the schemes of those who serve the ruinous powers. And that evil undoubtedly left an invisible mark upon me, as it does on any acolyte who fights against the archenemy. And this will be the case every time I do my duty. I know a good deal about the fates of those who have served the throne before me, Enough to know that my path leads to one place, and one place only. My visit to Kiava Gamma did not produce answers to all my questions, but we did succeed in dealing a blow to the cult by destroying the Fabricator Sensor's machine. I have directed my spies to track the sex surviving leaders. I am certain that they will have useful information for us soon. Though, small. This is a victory for the Golden Throne, and I have you to thank for it. Thank you for finding the time for our conversation. The Lord Inquisitor was most insistent that I master the discipline of Santic Demonology. I use my faith and my power to crush the enemies of the Imperium. Servants of Chaos tremble at the sound of the Emperor's name uttered by my lips. I am also a skilled biomancer. I can manipulate bodily processes. Sometimes... Sometimes I resort to those skills in the course of my work, when it is necessary to make the subject of an interrogation more cooperative. The cult's ordinary members are humans who have been corrupted by the archenemy, traitors to the Imperium, and accomplices of chaos. Participation in the cult's rituals always entails brainwashing, literally and figuratively. The longer cult members spend among other cultists, 
The less critically they think, and the more closely they resemble obedient livestock, stripped of their fear and instinct for self-preservation. The worst of them go to their deaths without an inkling of doubt, ready to take hundreds and thousands of souls with them. As for those at the top of the cult's hierarchy, we have not yet managed to get a lead on all of the cult's leaders. I imagine that some of them are hiding in the depths of the Coronas Expanse, but those who are orchestrating the fanatics on nearby worlds are hiding very well indeed, or receiving protection from above. I need to confirm the reports from my agents. According to them, one of the cult's leaders is in the Kiava Gamma segment, an industrial world within the dominion of the Fon Falancius dynasty. I hope you won't impede my investigation. <laughs> Governors, commanders, rogue traders. History is full of those who neglect their duty to the Golden Throne and seek allies in the wrong places. We discovered the first traces of it as soon as we arrived in the Coronas Expanse. Since then, the more we learn, the better we see just how far the roots of this blight extend. Destroying individual cells is pointless. We must cut this beast off at its head. As you wish. <laughs> I'm usually the one interested in the pasts of those around me, not the reverse. I come from a night world, Guizorn III. I belong to a branch of one of the noble houses, until my exceptional abilities were discovered. After that, I was sent on a black ship to Holy Terror, where I was trained, and I began my service for the glory of the Imperium. I do, but I have no ties to my homeworld now. None except my first name. I left Guizorn III when I was still a child, my family disowned me, stripping me of my family name. I was given a new one by those who trained me. Even for a noble, being branded a psyker is a mark of eternal shame. I experienced that firsthand, before I was put on the black ship. Like many psychers unaware of their curse, I found out when a strong emotional reaction triggered an involuntary response. My great aunt had a pet grink. One day, it bit me, and I boiled it from inside out. And when my great aunt slapped me for what I'd done, I boiled her too. <sighs> when I arrived on Holy Terror and was tested, I was found to be suitable material for becoming a sanctioned psyker, able to bend his curse to his own will. I can assure you that the adepts of the Astra Telepathica were right in their assessment. Picture a vast prison ship filled with frightened, angry psychers who can't control their abilities and who have just lost their homes and their families. Some of them were children and adolescents like I was. Some were monstrous creatures who no longer had the right to be called human, or psychopaths who reveled in their impure powers. Once, when one of the miscreants broke free, those in command simply depressurized the bay and got rid of the culprit along with the prisoners and crew tainted by him. But even after that, I heard the echo of inhuman suffering and terror that filled that part of the ship. It grieves me to recall that episode to this day. <laughs> no. First, I was accorded the status of a psyker fit for service in the Imperial Guard, where I then spent several years. It was only afterward that I became an agent of the Golden Throne. All right. Since the day of my initiation as an acolyte. So, decades. How many real years it's been, it's hard to say. When I return from a journey through the warp, I often discover that much more or much less time has passed in real space. Indeed. I have visited many of the places brought to the Emperor's light, 
and those sullied by the filth of the arch enemy. In truth, even after all these years spent visiting the various corners of the Imperium and looking beyond its borders, I still consider the Segmentum Solar to be the greatest of all humanity's bastions. Nothing compares to the majesty of holy terror, the might of Mars, the grandeur of the Segment's other worlds. You can't really be expecting me to answer that question, can you? <laughs> the first step for biomancers such as myself is to take control of the processes of their own body, including aging. <laughs> I've endured innumerable hazards in my work. If I allowed every trace of them to remain, I would look completely different today. All right. Gladly. <laughs> of course not. The Lord Inquisitor's entourage comprises dozens of people. The best of the best. Experts in various fields and disciplines. Some of them I know personally. Others I have never met. To be honest, I'm not even certain that the people I know are still alive. I used to work with other acolytes of the Lord Inquisitor, but in the Coronas Expanse, I have been working alone. I rarely have the time or the opportunity to think about it. <laughs> we are not a retinue. We are acolytes. As for your question, I am closer than anyone else to the one I call my personal teacher. The Lord Inquisitor deemed me worthy of undertaking the most important and sensitive tasks requiring the attention of agents of the Golden Throne. <laughs> Such as? All right. So he finishes. We need to go here. That one, that one not shouldn't be too bad, and that one shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So now I want to go talk to Cassia. <laughs> Words cannot describe how boring the bridge is without our stimulating conversations. I have enjoyed your company. Thank you for the conversation. Alright. Right. Let's uh let's move on I guess. Alright. Let's chart new routes. Just because I want to. Hmm, nothing here. Alright. I feel like there's something I really... Where was that other place I needed to go? Forgotten Twins. That's where I need to go. It's quite a ways back there. Let's, uh, let's go here over here. Warp Jump was usually hectic. The recent attack on the scrap code disabled many of the sacred machines whose manufacturing algorithms showed no sign of failure until the vessels departed real space and surrendered itself to the Sea of Souls. Only the Navigator's talent and talentless vigil of the tech priest saved the void ship this time. Do that over here. Okay, I don't really see anything. Alright. No ship combat, thankfully, right here. Yeah, we'll do that. Seven. That's quite a few. Hive City. 
Sandhills Pride Hives are oozing noxious haze veined with sulfurous streaks. The Promethean fumes from the gigantic distilling cauldron is located beyond the temperature shields. Vast endless deadlands littered with spots of Promethean stations and refineries separate the colossal of rock and adamantium with its crowning gargantuan spires. The heat of the system stars have turned the world into a boiling but lucrative gland within the body of the House Jordan Protectorate. Okay, so... Nothing really here to do. Okay, let's begin scan here. And... I am gonna do that. I'm gonna do that one. Because that opens up some stuff for me here. I think. Race to the top, so I can complete this. Get two more. Profit. Call me management. I'm gonna need to do that. Lord Captain's presence will be required. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That gives you a bunch of profit factor. You get a I feel like this is worth it right here. And I feel like this and you really need to do one of these two. Does it matter which? Not really. I think I want I think I want Imperial Navy though, man. I think that's Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is what I want to do here.
And the arm frigate sounds really nice. And then Okay, it's pretty awesome when you're on both sides of me. They're everywhere. Kinda sucks. There's a bunch of them, man. As 
the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. If I may, another foe painted here. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Uh. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. I understand your intent. Are you kidding me? How? Oh. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. Well, that's useful. Oh, my ears are ringing. My reckoning will be swift. God, there's a bunch of them. As the tactical imperative dictates. On it. I'll see to it personally. I refuse. Who if not me? This is good as done. Yep. Really? He got hit by his own by that poison? Is it a plague bear? That's weird. He hit me with the grenade. <laughs> this 
This is so weird, man. As the Emperor commands, I act. I refuse. I will not. Fate without deed. <laughs> oh, God, you didn't even take him down. If I may. This tedium is beneath me. Another soul slips beyond the veil. I am not your Xenos pet. <coughs> we do this. If it serves your cause. I think we do. <sighs> if I must. That is beneath me. Hurry is too far. My heart sinks with the thrill of battle. Okay. On it. Here comes another grenade, because that's what they do. Back 
You should feel honored to witness this. Brace yourself, Avalad. At your back and forth. <laughs> An exemplary strike. Victory is imminent. One fewer target. All right, that was kind of crazy. But okay. I will do like you. I took care of this one. My reckoning will be swift. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Well, we're just gonna leave. Can we leave? It should, I think it gives me the loot when I leave, but... If not, I'm kinda okay with that. Yeah, okay, it gives it to me. Alright. I'm assuming some of these we're not really supposed to go to till later. We're gonna make it safe. Need several, uh, I mean, got some events here, so we need to go take care of these. We're gonna save before we get there, there, just in case. All right, the explorator ship has arrived on the planet in accordance with the ancient pact for good. all by themselves. They intend to conduct general system maintenance and renew data files. I wish you could kind of see what these did. Exchange gifts. Having performed the restart liturgy on every tech block and resanctified the energy substations, the tech priests departed. Before leaving, they eagerly exchanged gifts by offering priceless technological marvels and accepting high quality materials in return. I mean, that doesn't seem to do anything. I don't. Holy River. Reverend Hermas de la Rosa has arrived on the planet for a brief visit. Great many itinerant pilgrim have arrived with him in hopes of finding a new home. Except for the faithful. Many of the pilgrims, weary from years of wandering, decided to settle in the rogue trader's colony. Reverend Hermas deposited for another world, taking the rest of the faithful with him in search for a planet that could become their home. Okay. A Void Scout 
complete scout ship has arrived at the colony's orbit. Having returned from a long expedition, their hold is filled with trophies and their Promethean tanks are nearly empty. No fuel to them. Oh, Profit Factor is three. We'll take that. All right. So we can't really do anything else right now. Basically, we remove traumas. This one looks pretty decent, to be honest with you. that much trouble with damage so I have trouble with well I have more trouble with injuries than I do with that so all right all right we need to get the seal I'm assuming it's at the governor's. I always have a backup plan. Your lordship is subject to Janus welcomes you. What cares have brought you to our humble world on this occasion? How are things? Without the enemies of being managed our land wonderfully. Your lordship, the people of Janus are indebted for your reading or of heresy. The Emperor is my witness, Janus shall continue to serve on Valencia's dynasty, but not in precisely the same way as before. Oh yes, the floor of Janus can take your breath away, while the Flana can inadvertently kill you. Of course, of course. It would be an honor to assist the here, but wait, but a few minutes, your lordship, and the humble servant will have your seal ready. Here you are. Scourge your perverse seal certificate with care, and may the Emperor bless your pass. Okay. So I think that's. Do that. Mm. All right. Time to head out again. Back to the void ship. Go ahead and repair over here. 
if you don't repair them, man, they just, they'll just keep taking damage eventually. I mean, you know, and then when you'll get in the fight, you'll have like half your health. And if you've seen me fight in these type of fights, you know that I need all the health I can get. Where is that at? Forgotten Twins. Actually, just over here too. Let me go up here next. Space combat. I don't think I want to do space combat right now. We're gonna go ahead and bring them down to we're gonna bring these down to one as best we can. I'm guessing we can't go there yet. That is my guess. Forgotten twins, we need to be here. The coordinates from the ship's log hidden leads her under rocket over star system. The auger crew reports that the rays cannot register anything worthy of the lower captain's attention. Was log entry just someone's idea of a joke? They're playing an uh, Okay, I don't think that's the case, but. Alright, let's start exploring, I guess. Traces of space battle. I'm sure that's probably where we're supposed to go. The country of green highlights shapes of several buildings. A small settlement with only one the only one on the planet, a winter scale dynasty outpost. This is the outpost. After a lengthy descent to the planet, you're rewarded with a dismal sight. The entire outpost consists of long columns of uniform bunkhouses, machine hangers, and a large headquarters stopped with a massive antenna of an ancient box caster. Binary sun hangs in the sky, makes every object cast two shadows. A spectacle you find vaguely disturbing. The custodian and his people go out of their way to give you an esteemed guest a proper reception, but the resources are scarce at best. Not the custodian. The custodian shares alarming news. The outpost is highly dependent on various deliveries from the core winter scale worlds, but two ships have already failed to arrive on schedule. Locals do not have an astropath of their own, so the custodian cannot determine the cause of delays or request aid. The outpost will soon run out of food at this rate, so the custodian sends an urgent request for provision. He is begging you for help, offering what little his settlement has in exchange. Uh, well, yeah. The custodian showers you with gratitude and hurries to send. Yeah. Yeah. Really grim and worrying faces of his men lot of relief. Okay, well, I mean, okay, that's okay. This is not that interesting. Journey treats you to a rare and expensive spectacle. An eclipse begins as one of the two local suns covers the other. You watch as the temperature drops and the lighting change, and the double shadows vanish. The two discs in the sky merge, forming a shimmering oval and then becoming one. Eventually, the fantastic event passes, leaving behind a vivid memory. We explored that. The Winterscale Dynasty outpost hails of Malachi von Blanches and thanks him for the help. Locals are indebted to him. Glory to the rope trader. Uh, okay, I mean, this is not explored. So maybe it's something that happens later? I don't know. I'm puzzled by that. Usually, usually when you complete those, those go away. I'm not gonna worry about two plus steel right now. Oh, there is the binary. You see the binary stars. That's cool. Binary suns.
stormed it in all storms. Crews retreated to a cruelly impressive site. Colossal storm on the gas giant surface. The planet's dimensions of, were them, in themselves were mind boggling. And then it birthed the, t the Tempest, the storm to end all storms. As the Lord Captain and his officers observed it from a safe distance through the bridge's huge viewing windows, some suggested giving it a name, and the Emperor's wrath garnered the most votes. Some in the crew believed the storm to be an omen. Okay. Okay, we had six. Alright, so now we're going over here. Save real quick. I feel, I mean, there's something here. But what? Lord Captain, there's evidence of recent scuffle with Tata straight ahead of us. Throne take me. This is not a frigate. This is just a gutted piece of metal. It helps me pass out from it. Blimey, the culprits are here too. It is, an Eldar, it is the Eldari freaks. I recognize their shiny asses even from this distance, except the Xenos are acting suspiciously. Ha they are hovering in place and not even trying to run. Should we approach or open fire from a distance? Call off your people, Illintak. Something is wrong. The children of us Surin are dismayed, but doing something like this to a monkey vessel. No, we are not animals. I appeal to your prudence and, and the promise you made. Do not destroy my kin for deeds they did not commit. Lord Captain, we have received a report from the Augur crew. The situation is unusual. The Xeno ship displays no biological or energetical signatures, even though it appears to be intact. According to the scanners, there is nobody on board. However, survivors are believed to be hiding in one of the compartments of the damaged vessel of the Imperium. We also spotted some drifting plating remains that belong to a third unidentified vessel. Uh, can we do all three of them or is it just like a one shot? Xeno artifacts, okay. After several hours of tease waiting, but this gets back on there. Lord Captain, scouts confirm our early report. The ship is intact. Many valuable artifacts have been found inside, but neither the Eldari nor their bodies were discovered. I really wish you could see what these things actually did. We are late again in Lentac. Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> Lord Captain. I'm reporting that the whole fragment has blown to the Drakari Xenos race, but the presence of the ships in the system at the time has not been confirmed. Okay. It will be done. We got some more Xenos artifacts. How wild is that? Lord Captain, the scouts managed to rescue several emaciated officers from the wreck ship. Despite their wounds, they were able to tell us what ha has happened. During a patrol, the frigate discovered an Adari ship crossing the system and decided to immediately attack the enemy's humanity. The Xenos Vessel proved too fast and skittish, but at one point its engine failed, giving the frigate time to attack. When the guns were aimed, several Drukari ships suddenly pounced from the darkness. At first they attacked from a distance, but soon boarded the frigate and wrecked a bloody massacre on the decks. It is only by sheer miracle that the surviving officers managed to escape, locking themselves in the hidden technical compartment that the Xenos had no use for. The survivors claimed that the Xenos conspired and deliberately led the ship into a trap, where it made its doom. The Xenos joined forces to eliminate a vessel of the Imperium. Hmm. The last plane of Daria and Drakari is an unusual sight, and yet such outcome is hardly surprising. Why, Master Interrogator? I was thinking the exact same thing. At last, you and I can finally agree on something. How blind are the monkey to the voices of their kind? The voices of their kind. Humans attack a ship of the children of Masura and sailing peacefully by, but it is my kin's people who are to blame. You're let us beside herself with contempt and rage. No, my kind would not butcher the dark ones of their own volition and then abandon their ship. Something else happened here, something I am afraid to even consider. Alantak has the calm bead in your ear delivering a stop on guess. Has my search come to a dead end? I ventured into the darkness of space with the monkey, hoping to find my kin, but all I found were corpses buried by human hatred. We may not have agreed on everything, but at least you tried to reach out to me. As a thank you, I will share the coordinates of my kin's people's cash with you, as I promised, and you will be given a reward worthy of your efforts. Okay. What? What?
Still don't know why I couldn't find those caches. Alright. Anyway, I think this is probably a, a good time to to kind of step away. We've accomplished quite a bit. So, uh, we'll go back to the map. Of the Maybe. But we're going to end it here. Um, I do want to see something. So this... I feel like, I feel like I, it tells me I get stuff, but I don't get things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I... I feel like it tells me I get things, but I don't know where they are. Cause I'm pretty sure it told me that I had gotten some kind of a like I found a Drukari weapon or something. Not a Drukari. An Eldari. I don't know, I can't, don't know where it is though. Don't know where it is. Anyway. Um. I mean, this is chapter two. Is it like chapter two after I do see something else though? We received a report from Dragonus. Some common folk from the now ruined Scipion 84249 have succumbed to the heresy of defiance. Forming into engine vandals gangs, they now arrive among the wasteland on the wasteland adapted cleaning glass. They have declared themselves outside the law, raiding the hives outskirts only to escape retribution in the toxic wastelands. Despite your act of grace, these ungrateful heretics are fleeing the hives, abandoning their workstations and inciting others to do the same. They even dare to spread liars and slander, staying near being used as slaves. So great are the appetites of yesterday's refugees. Rumor has it that, they, that the Brigadier clan in charge of the debris removal of the ruins of Scipio and keep in contact. We could pass on your words to the renegades via the Brigadiers and force them to disclose the location of the rebels nomadic camp. Union, this is a union of the workers and the technomats who have been working on the lower levels of Scipion. Small scale bosses of the watches and the ships, using useful common folk who have proved their worth with diligent labor and valuable knowledge. Of course, they stand much lower than the esteemed trader, let alone the aristocrats, but the common folk take he heed their kin, and the brigadiers have both the authority and the ability to manage them. The Scipions themselves find themselves, but the brigadiers have not shown any signs of disloyalty. They were first to volunteer to return to the ruins of Scipion. 84249 instead of the debris removal project. They are certainly useful and are accustomed to praising the Emperor through their labor. 
Moreover, their grief at the loss of their home and their resilience, which they have accepted, it made them appear like heroes and martyrs in the eyes of the commoners. This is a rather uncomfortable way of life, Your Lordship. They must always be aware of acid rain and hurricanes. Moving a decent distance from the hives, they do not plan on raiding at the time. They get their food from abandoned outposts, paying for it with their lives of those killed by autonomous security systems. Water and Prometheum are rationed very strictly. They live by marauding, occasional hunt and plundering, sometimes their own kin, sometimes the outskirts of the hive. They are a tribe of degenerates and barbarians that is rapidly developing their own clan culture. A civilized residents of the hive shoot the scum any chance they get. If the engine vandals have managed to tame the ancient machine spirits, then that means they are technomats or even tech priests among the ranks. That renders them negotiable. It would be efficient to utilize such renegades instead of disposing of them. A promise of reward for every piece of technology found in the wastelands of Dragonus and return back to the dynasty will ensure their business. If you wish to exterminate them in one tech, do not waste your time on hunting them down. Instead, deceive them into defeating each other with a prize, a weapon, or a trophy that they can fight for. After the monkey are finished slicing each other out for the right to obtain it, your warrior shall finish the deed. This tactic proves useful as to be very useful against your kind. The risk is that they're going to despise them, but they also secretly afraid of them, correct? Renegades that can invoke such fear. I wonder, if I had exiles like this on my home, would they have curbed their ambitions of my brothers and sisters? Would they have supported me in case of conflict? Oh. I'm scheming and spying right now, am I not? Bravo, Lady Cassia. Do not be ashamed of these unique abilities bestowed upon you by your heritage. They are your birthright. Uh, let's do that. Oh, may the loss be be found yet again. Former servants and serfs and Amasire that are now part of the engine vandals were glad to actively collaborate and redeem themselves in the eyes of Deuce Mechanicus. Common folk did not dare judge this union, fearing the menacing priests clad in scarlet. High raids have become a rare occurrence. The expeditions are returning from the wastelands with relics they had once been lost to the vast plains, which makes their way to the dynasty's vault via the Brigadier clan. What did I get? I just, I just lose profit factor and not get anything? Hmm. Alright. I can't go here, but... I think we go here first. Well, actually, we're going to go here next time. We're going to end it here today. And I uh, appreciate you joining us. Uh, we'll continue our journey next time. Uh, we'll see you then.